Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. Staying at Element House in Cape Town, South Africa is like staying with an incredibly wealthy relative and they've given you free reign of their property. It's massive, it has the friendliest, most engaging staff who will indulge your every whim. It's exquisitely decorated and it's in a breathtaking location. That's Element House to a T. This video is part of my Tembea Africa series where I showcase some of the best luxury properties in Africa. I'm Anesu Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. Whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on quality under the radar brands, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is geared towards you. Element House is a house in terms of the look and the feel of the place, but technically it's a hotel, a luxury hotel. And the only giveaway is when you arrive and you're walking towards the entrance, there's a plaque ahead of you written Relay et Chateau, a hotel group that the house is a part of. But it's a Cape Edwardian mansion that's privately owned by banking tycoon Paul Harris. And it's very discreetly tucked away on Kloof Road. And it seamlessly blends in with all the other mansions in Bantry Bay. I stayed at Element House the first two days of my stay in South Africa. I was picked up from the airport in a rather swish, top of the range, brand spanking new Mercedes SUV. So I arrived at the house in comfort and in style. And as you can imagine, everything was meticulously organized. When we arrived, management were at the entrance, warmly welcomed, ush ushered us in downstairs for drinks and to fill out our last minute paperwork. And then we're shown to our room, but en route, a mini tour of the house. Element House is legendary for its art collection. There are over a thousand artworks that adorn the walls of the house, as well as a private gallery on site. The private gallery is one of Cape Town's, one of South Africa's foremost galleries. Pieces are all originals and they chart South Africa's social and political history from the 20th century through to present day. En route, you also pass a 24 hour pa pantry and it has every sweet and baked good you could ever think of, imagine, or even crave. Constantly stocked up all day long, you can come and go as many times as you please, day or night. The only limiting factor, of course, is your stomach's capacity. I was staying in room number nine, a deluxe house room. Very comfortably, stylishly decorated like the rest of the house, and with all the amenities I would expect from a room in a hotel at that level. Came in, to your right hand side was the bathroom with a big bathtub, walk-in um, shower, separate water closet, two sinks and their own range of toiletries. The rest of the room was long, on the right hand side, king size bed, next to that the mini bar, seating space, a desk, um, a mini lounge area ahead of you, television and then floor to ceiling windows. And then on the other side, uh, seating, and then spectacular views of the Atlantic Ocean ahead of you. The whole time you're in the room, you just have the distant roar of the ocean, just lulling you to sleep or just helping relax you in the room. I literally slept in the room and I would have liked to, and I will go back and just enjoy a day or two, relaxing, um, getting up leisurely, lying back in bed, opening the curtains and whale watching. Um, whale watching season in South Africa is from June through to about December. Uh, reading, enjoying sundowners on the balcony, just really enjoying the room because it was a beautiful room. 
I would highly recommend Element House for, for corporates, for example, film directors, film producers who are often in South Africa uh, for extended periods of time, wanting somewhere that's home away from home, somewhere comfortable, but with five star service, somewhere discreet, somewhere incredibly secure. The security there is insane. I remember my second day, I got up very early in the morning whilst it was very quiet, just to have a look around the gardens before there were people out and about. And then I went outside uh, to see what it was like from the road and I remember there was a security man who came charging towards me uh, who I hadn't recognized he didn't recognize me and luckily as I was about to to figure out what am I going to do I didn't have my room key or anything another security person who recognized me from the day before um, let me in but nobody is going to get into element house who's not meant to be there I'd also recommend it for families but with grown-up children and also couples just wanting somewhere comfortable, incredibly stylish, but not over the top. And of course, five star service, which Element House delivers faultlessly. There are a number of facilities available to guests at Element House. There's an in-house restaurant with two rooms. Element House as a whole has 13 rooms and suites. So even if it's running at full capacity, you will never have a situation where there are too many guests and they can't accommodate you. There is the two rooms of the restaurant, space on the veranda and all around the grounds. You take a seat wherever you'd like to sit and staff will come to you and serve food from there. I had two breakfasts, both days I had breakfast um, that I was there, the two days that I was there. And then one of the days I had dinner in the evening. Food is very much local, it's seasonal and where possible organic and they describe their menu as vibrant which it is and I like the fact that they put their own culinary stamp on a lot of fairly classic dishes. So for example breakfast, eggs florentine came with wild mushrooms, um, goat's cheese on sourdough and uh, uh, topped up with kale. I remember having a poached egg, came with baby spinach, um, aged Gruberg salad and it had uh, the most delicious uh, biltong hollandaise and of course uh, your full South African breakfast. You have springbok, broeverose, tomato s'mores, pork rasher, crispy baby potatoes, fried eggs for example. Fills you up, you're tanked up for the day literally. In the evenings, more of a fine dining menu, but what I really liked is, apart from the food being incredibly delicious, was the fact that the, way, the chefs are coming from excellent pedigree. They are trained by Relay Chateau Michelin starred chefs, but the portions were very good sizes. Fine dining typically is about the artistic element, um, the quality of the food, of course, and portions tend to be small, but Element House, they were a good size. The sides were fantastic. Also at Element House, they have an in-house fully stocked bar, the Bar Rock. Um, serve sundowners four or five o'clock every single day. Go around with a gin trolley with a good mix of international gins, but a lot of heavy on your, your local craft gins, heavily influenced by Feinboss flavors can have them anywhere in the grounds, uh, just outside the bar. Um, you can invite friends, but people, external people typically can't come into Element House without the express permission of management. So it's nice because it's discreet, it's just the other guests and it's a very relaxed environment. And then they also have an excellent spa, gym downstairs overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. And then the other piece de resistance for Element House is the wine cellar. With over seven and a half thousand uh, wines, anything worth drinking, knowing, trying is stocked in their wine cellar. It very confidently showcases South Africa's 350 year old heritage of winemaking. I remember the first day attending a wine tasting um, event hosted by the Somalia Lovejoy and it was a great way to break the ice with the other guests because whenever you saw them there was that camaraderie that you had going from the wine tasting and you got to interact with other guests, but it was never anything contrived, but just very natural and relaxed. Element House is ideally located for touring the Cape Peninsula. It's what Cape Town is about. It's sun, the sea, the scenery. You start at the top at Bantry Bay and drive down along the coast to Hout Bay, to Chapman's Peak, before coming in inland to Table Mountain National Park. As you drive along the coast, you have the spectacular views of the sea, the dramatic land formations, and of course, the vegetation. 
the national park is very much about the wildlife and also the Cape Floral Kingdom, which is a major tourist attraction in its own right. Wildlife, you're going to see mountain zebras, ostrich, baboons, eland, bontebok, hundreds of species of birds. And then the Cape Floral Kingdom um, is made up of over 9,000 species of plants. 80% of those uh, plants are feenbos. Feenbos literally translated means fine bush in Dutch, but it's a very distinctive type of vegetation made of your small heather-like trees and also your shrubs. 69% of the species you will find are endemic to that region. And it's the smallest of the six floral kingdoms in the world, but it's the richest and the most diverse. And in turn, it is a UNESCO protected uh, world heritage site. If you're going specifically for the floral kingdom, then I would highly recommend camping in the national park. So you get to spend more time and see a lot more and also getting a tour guide focused um, who's, who's specialized in Feinbos. That way you really get to learn um, a lot about Feinbos. Also in the National Park, at the bottom of the peninsula, you have the Cape of Good Hope and then you also have Cape Point. Both are the southwesternmost points in Africa. Cape Point, you have a funicular, so if you, gain, if you have problems walking up, you can get the funicular to the top of the lighthouse or you can walk up in about 30 minutes and you get the most spectacular views of the sea and dramatic land formations all around uh, Cape Point. At Cape Point, you come back up, you can go through Simon's Town, stop over for late lunch, and then go over to Boulder's Beach and see the cute African penguins, which is a must. You have to tick that box. They're absolutely cute. And then, of course, come back to Elliman once you're done. You can do a full day's tour uh, of the Cape Peninsula, uh, start about 8.30 in the morning, 9 o'clock, and you can finish about three, four o'clock, depending on how fast you're going. And you can come back to Element House in time for sundowners at Bar Rock. Element House is also a great spot to see Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens. It's one of the greatest gardens in the world, and it's located on the eastern slopes of Table Mountain. It's an expansive space made up of various gardens. So for example, you have a fragrance garden, a medicinal garden, you have a water-wise garden. Uh, water-wise is plants that use very little water. You also have, for example, a, a bronze and stone sculpture garden with sculptures that have been sculpted by Dylan Lewis, one of South Africa's most critically acclaimed artists. You also have a protea garden, for example. Also within Kirsten Bosch, Botanical Gardens, you have a canopy walkway. It's known as the boom slang. It's shaped like uh, the tree snake. And it gives you some of the most spectacular views of uh, the garden as well as the Cape Flats. You also have in the Botanical Gardens an expanse of greenery where they host summer concerts, open air theaters, open air cinema on Wednesdays. They host a number of events. They've also got um, an amphitheater there. And I would highly recommend taking a picnic and enjoying the gardens. They're serene, they're beautiful, and there's an abundance of plants there, all indigenous to South Africa. They only grow plants indigenous to South Africa. Also within Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens, you have a couple of eateries, Moyos, uh, where they serve a huge buffet of uh, an assortment of different types of food. And then you also have the Kirsten Bosch Tea Rooms, where they serve afternoon tea and also uh, your, your normal food, for example, chicken, fish, with salads, with vegetables, for example. The portions are huge. Custom Bosch Botanical Gardens is a fantastic place to go and all the plants in uh, the grounds of Elliman House are from Custom Bosch Botanical Gardens. But that's Elliman House in a nutshell. It's a superb home away from home uh, place in South Africa. It is arguably one of the best uh, private hotels in South Africa. Very well appointed, fantastic service, the location. The, the art collection, the wine, and the staff make for an amazing stay at Element House. Any other questions, let me know in the comments down below, but don't forget to subscribe as we continue to Timbea Africa.